we're already starting to see a lot of that color popping. Uh, we've had some beautiful photos sent into us already as we're approaching fall and tomorrow is the first official day of fall, even though um, it has felt like it the past couple days. And so tomorrow on the first day of fall, because of Earth's tilt on its axis, we're going to have an equal amount of day and an equal amount of night. And then our next season will be winter, which begins on December 21st. Um, and I know we've been talking about the ski resorts already opening up at the end of fall. Um, so people are getting excited to hit the slopes. But for right now, let's just enjoy this view. Old Mill Cam zoomed into downtown Salt Lake City and it's crystal clear. That's because we have good air quality today and you can see that it's feeling really pleasant outside. We're only in the mid 60s right now. Warmer than this time yesterday, but just really comfortable. That breeze about six miles per hour. So very calm right now, mid to upper 60s. Along the Wasatch Front, Provo, you've been taking some time to warm up. You're at 57 degrees. Low 50s in Evanston right now and St. George are at 73, 67 in Moab. Here's the thing, good air quality today. Over the next couple days, it's going to be changing just a little bit. We'll be back to that moderate, the yellow category, uh, because we're going to start to see some of that haze and smoke making its way back into the state. It's not going to be as thick as when it's really bad, how it's been the past couple weeks. But either way, today's the day to really enjoy because it's just clear out there and you've got clear skies in terms of the sunshine not a whole lot of clouds out there and we have that high pressure that's building and warming us up a little bit more today so high pressure is just centered off to the west of us that flow around the high pressure um, is going to be giving us that northerly the northerly winds which is going to keep that smoke out of here at least today and in Salt Lake City, you're peaking at 73. So this is warmer than yesterday, several degrees below our average, but this is going to be a really comfortable Tuesday afternoon. So if you have any plans outside, this is the day to do it, as Max mentioned. Even taking your dog for a walk, it feels more comfortable for them as well. 68 in Park City today, 90 in St. George. You've got sunshine across the Beehive State. And as we go into tonight, those temperatures will drop to the low 50s in Salt Lake City. So it's not as cold as early this morning, but still cool enough that you're going to want to grab a jacket as you bring the kiddos off to school or get them off to school early tomorrow morning. Uh, mostly clear skies. Um, really a pretty start to your Wednesday. And you can see in southern Utah, first day of falls tomorrow, you'll be climbing to the mid 90s for your Wednesday. And we're putting a pause on the mid 90s um, as we go into the next couple days uh, because of a weak system that's going to be sliding in. All it's going to do is cool our temperatures just a bit by the end of the week. And in northern Utah, you climb tomorrow and then you're going to stay in the low 80s till the end of the week. And then we'll climb back up to the mid 80s for your Saturday and Sunday.